Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 216 of Prog Review. And today, if you haven't read the description or the title, I'm going to be talking about Tommy the Who Super Deluxe Box Set. Oh, yes, indeedy. Um, this kind of follows on from the, the one they did two years ago, Quadrophenia Box Set. I don't know if you remember that, if you peel back. You'll be able to find it in the list. And um, this time around, they've done another remaster of the album, of the Tommy album. So you've got a CD with a remaster, a CD with demo tracks, a Blu-ray with a, a, apparently a new high-resolution surround sound disc and a live disc at the end. And there's also this lovely big booklet, you know, with an essay but it's not written by Pete Townsend this time which you know it's a bit of a shame um yeah I mean it costs roughly the same as the Quadrophenia box set but you don't get as much in it um I mean ugh. yeah it's um a little bit disappointing but you know I'm a big fan of the album this is the thing you know I mean the last edition I got was this one which has the SACD surround sound and mix and a second disc of outtakes and demos but the only three of the tracks from this appear on the new box set so you get quite a lot of new material there's not too much overlap but my thing is the these new remixes I, I've been listening to them I've been comparing them with this and I've I had an even older version and they all begin to sound the same to me after a while so if you if you're asking me which is the which is the best mix the new one and then this one and then the, they're all pretty much of a muchness it's just the way they um sequence the tracks you know they've uh, someone said to me oh you know they merged um part of sparks into amazing journey well they did that with this album and it's the same with see me feel me listening to you it's merged on the new box set with we're not going to take it which was how it used to be back with the first release of this oh it all gets complicated but um uh but yeah i mean it's a it's a great album the mix sounds great you know there's nothing there that's gonna you're gonna jump out on with the stereo mix um what interests me is the the outtakes or, or the demos sorry not the outtakes um because pete townsend um produces very very good demos and this is what was um what i found uh, exciting about the Quadrophenia box set is Townsend's version of things is very interesting. You can hear what he brings into it. It's slightly different, you know, his take on the songs, you know, before he hands them over to the band. But, you know, the drums are there, bass, guitar, the vocals. He does it all himself. And, you know, it is quite close to the original. But again, like I said, it's got to go through Ent Missile, Moon and, and uh, Daltrey before... Yeah, the final who magic is a, is applied, uh, but yeah, those demos are absolutely fascinating. It's worth it for those alone. Um, but again, it's quite an expensive. You know, you're ponying up, you know, seventy, eighty quid or whatever it is for just a, a disc of demos. It seems quite stupid, um, but I liked them. I thought it was very, very good and great to hear them and how these songs are formed. And you know, I find that kind of side interesting. You know, like the behind the scenes, I always find that kind of interesting. Um, the Blu-ray mix. Now, again, this is a, supposedly a new surround sound mix, but I couldn't find much to tell it apart from the SACD mix. But to be honest, it's been a while. I, I didn't do an AB comparison, but you know. Um, but what I like about Pete Townsend is he doesn't he when he does surround sound mixing, he doesn't do it like the rest of us does it. You know, where we try and envelop people. He'll sometimes put the drums at the back, and you know he'll really play around with the the the, the field, you know, the sound field. Um, so that's quite that's always good fun to hear. Um, yeah, it's a good mix. It brings um, the surround sound version brings a lot more to the table because you can hear separation of the various instruments better than with the stereo. Obviously, that's why I like surround sound mixing. Um, you know, so that's that's cool. It's on Blu-ray though. You don't have a DVD option, so if you haven't got a Blu-ray player. You're kind of stuck, and it's the same if you ain't got an SACD player. There isn't a, like I don't think there's a DVD option out there, so 
that's a bit unfortunate for the fans who you know are in the middle who don't have a, a, a SACD or a Blu-ray player, and then this is rounded up with a live a live disc from where was it? Was it in, on, was it Capital Theatre? Wasn't it like Ontario or something? Ottawa, not Ontario. <laughs> uh, yeah, Capital Theatre, Ottawa, on the fifteenth of October, nineteen sixty-nine. Um, again, it reminded me a bit like the condensed version of. Tommy on the deluxe version of Live from Leeds. That was a big sentence, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it's good to hear it live. It's good to hear them, you know, do it as the as a four piece. You know, I wouldn't necessarily say it's essential, you know, but it's still interesting to hear them do it. And it must have been pretty mind blowing for everybody in 1969 to sit down and get this whole album, you know, shoved onto them. Um, you know. But the saving grace of the box set is the big, lovely, big, big booklet which talks about uh, the making of the album in depth and, you know, the various ideas and that's backed up with pictures from the time and cuttings and, you know, it's very good quality, very deluxe, you know, a bit like the Quadrophenia set, you know, a lot of lot of work's gone into it and that's really what you're paying for. You're paying for the big coffee table book, um, you know. So, yeah, so that's that, but it's, it's good for that. I mean, I liked reading... The essay. It's a shame that uh, Townsend didn't write it this time because I found the Quadrophenia one. He wrote that himself, and that was really, really good. And it's a shame, you know, he didn't bring his own his own words to the table. But you know, the guy that wrote this version, he did a, he did a good job. It's not, you know, it's it's it's, it's very good. it's a good read, you know. So, you know, it's a bit of a problem with the rating because it is very expensive. And I've always got an issue with these box sets being, you know, more expensive than they need to be. And also, I mean, there's various factors here: the expense, the fact that the surround sound is only in Blu-ray and not you don't have a DVD option, so you you're limited in your market. And um, you know, the live the live cuts. I don't know if it was I don't know if it was worth including. It's a shame they didn't put the film in there as well. You know bring the film into the fold make it like an ultimate box set you know um, because you can only get the blu-ray of the movie from america I, I, I purchased it via amazon it's region free but i recommend you get it because it's great and the surround sound mix is really really cool um but it's a shame they didn't do like put the movie in the box you know give it a little bit more value um you know you know dumped dump the live the live album and put the the movie in but i don't know that would have probably put the expense might they probably don't have the rights to the movie or something. There's always these these legal reasons that are in the way. But you know, I, I like the box set. It's a nice box set, but you know, I can't give it full marks because of the expense. And compared to the Quadrophenia box set, you know, it's it's lacking. You know, it's it's kind of lacking. Um, so for that reason, for that reason, I'm going to give it. Three cousin Kevin's out of five. That's three cousin Kevin's out of five, and it's a shame because, like, you know, like I said, I'm a big fan of the record. Um, you know, it, I mean, of course, for, for for a fan with, with, where there's no expense, it's a five out of five. You know, it's a, it is a five out of five, but you know, it really is the cost of it, and also the lack of a DVD option for those without a Blu-ray player. I think that's fair, don't you? So anyway, my name's been Darren Lock. I've been talking about. The Super Deluxe Edition, Super Deluxe Edition box set of Tommy by The Who. And one day I'll review the film because I've got it on Blu-ray. And that would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for, for patiently sitting there whilst I flap my chops at the camera. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget Google+. Plus. Google Plus, you will join Google+. Plus. But if you don't want to join Google+, Plus, please feel free to follow me on Twitter or uh, become my friend on Facebook and you can then you know communicate via those routes if necessary and you also get to find out when the next video is going up because just in case the subscription box isn't working on the YouTube because you know it ha happens sometimes and that's that hopefully this has been good fun hopefully I don't know, I was going to say something, but my brain suddenly did a brain fart and I seized up.
But hey, I'm not going to edit it out. I'm one take Darren. We keep we keep the mistakes in. We honour honour the mistake. Uh, and with that, there's only one more thing to say, and you know what that is, don't you? Oh yes, it is. Prog on.